So let's use polar coordinates to find the double integral of the function fxy equals x squared plus y squared to the 10th power over the disk of radius 1 centered at the origin. Okay. So we wish to find the double integral over some region of some function with some differential area element. And we're given our function and we're told that the region over which we plan to integrate is a disk centered at the origin. And that disk has a radius equal to 1. So if I were to try to define this region as our region R, I would say that R may be represented by all R theta such that our R varies from 0 to 1 and our theta, let's say, varies from 0 all the way around to 2 pi. So I use this now to set up my limits of integration, and that'll help tease out the differential area element. But what about the function fxy? So I have that this is x squared plus y squared to the 10th. Now if we recall, in polar coordinates, x is going to be our value r cosine theta, and y r sine theta. And it should be clear that if I plug in r cos and r sin, I'll get r squared cos squared plus r squared sin squared, can fact out an r squared, and I'm left with the cosine squared plus the sine squared, which is just 1. So in essence, this just becomes r squared to the 10th power. And of course, when I raise a power to a power, I simply multiply the exponents. Well, now we're ready to solve the problem. So I'm able to write in my limits. I'm going to let, let's say, r vary from 0 to 1. And since this is on r, I'll put my dr on the outside. Theta is going to vary from 0 to 2 pi. And I'll put my d theta on the inside and not forget about my extra factor r on my differential area element. So it's usually r dr d theta or r d theta dr, just depending on type. And my function simplified down to r to the 20th. OK? So I guess we could write this as the integral from 0 to 1, 0 to 2 pi, of r to the 21st power d theta by dr. And I'll come over here just a little. And now on this inner iterated integral, we're integrating with respect to theta. So if I integrate respect to theta, well, r to the 21st power is just seen as a constant. And so I get the integral from 0 to 1, r to the 21st power times theta evaluated from theta lower equals 0 to theta upper equals 2 pi dr. And if I use the evaluation theorem, really just a 2 pi will come out of this, which is a constant that I can write out front. So I get 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 1, r to the 21st power dr. Well, real simple integral, I'll get r to the 21 plus 1 over 21 plus 1, evaluated from 0 to 1. And you can see if I use the evaluation theorem, um, the r to the 22nd uh, uh, goes away at the lower limit, only survives at the upper limit. So I get 1 to the 22nd power, which is just 1. So I get 2 pi over 22, which is just pi over 11. Thank you.